Hello, this is Nintendo 14, playthrough on Donkey Kong 64, part 16 in last parts. We played as Donkey Kong in the Angry As Tech, and this part, we're going to be playing with him just, just, just like always, apparently, because this is the last part of the Donkey kong a uh, before we actually have to go back and play as Lanky and Tiny Kong in the Jungle Japes. Now, quickly, now we have all the Kongs in the Jungle Japes, I think it would be appropriate to actually show off the, these things. Use Diddy to open the gate with Lanky's cave. Once inside, slab the stumps and shoot the zingers. Okay, so that, unfortunately that means we have to do a lot of a lot of Kong interactions where you have to use one Kong for another Kong. Go and see Cranky or Tiny will find herself unable to fit in the tree stump. That is if you did all that before you came back here like I did, which was like really, really soon, but alright. That was just for Tiny Kong. Here's one for Chucky Kong. X marks the spot for a Chucky and, and gives him a chance to use his weight. Uh, I should... I can't the text go a bit faster so I can't... So I can read it without much pause. So anyways, there's one thing you want to do with Chucky Kong before, you know, when you enter the portals. You char charge up the pirate punch. And I just did it right there. I was trying to do this the last few times I was trying to enter the portals with Chucky Kong. But yes, that's what that's what happens. He, it's, I, don't know, I don't know if that went on to use. Like, if you could er, wind up charge or wind up charge punch the more stuff or for his punch longer but uh, I guess that, that was the case I always like doing that with Chunky anyways uh let's just go through this area I believe uh, it's been a long time since we've been here with other Kongs but I want to like just double check any granny and nook this is yeah, this is for Lanky and Tiny so we'll be back there in a couple parts or Lanky or uh, I'm not I'm deciding on who I'm going to play as but Yes, at least we're gonna make make use of that area in the next part. As for Chunky Kong, I believe uh, the, the bananas for Chunky Kong, they're gonna be really easy to to find. That's the okay. That was, was kind of weird, as if I was trying to find an easy way to get through that area. But all right, there's one thing you could you know, that you, you need to you need Tiny Kong's help to get into another area. But wait, I'll just kick collect these bananas and actually go straight forward to the. Banana that Wrinkly Kong mentioned. Uh, Wrinkly Kong mentioned seems to be a thing, but I got this big boulder. I want to I know what I can do with this big boulder. Such as kill that big bee. <laughs> can I kill it? Oh, I didn't kill it. Wait, did I? I don't think I did. Anyways, that, throwing that boulder actually has a gold banana out of all sorts. So I might as well just make use in collecting it. Maybe try and wipe it off, but a little bit dusty. But experts can spot. Use this weight. Ground pound. Breaking a little bit. Maybe more time. Or for measures. Oh, I don't know what we felt. Okay, just like that. I believe this this area is where it's gonna mainly have most of Chunky's bananas. We got this one trail of bananas a little bit right there. And here we get to some more. Instead of just one trail of bananas, instead we get five right there. And another five actually. And this area uh, if you watch the demo, this is where this is the area for for Chunky Hong's demo. When you demonstrated, so let's just hit those two switches and those vines will come down. Actually, there's two for there's two points of interest here. There's this one banana right there. You just collect it. But if you go on the other side, well, once I once I uh, get these coins right here for, real quick, there is uh, another point of interest on the other side of these vines. So I'll make sure I get that. So swing it all the way over here. Actually, it's not swing over there just yet. There is the cast plant right there. So let's just shoot him right from there. I think it would be a lot smarter just to do that. And then sw swing across. So just like that, we got it. And I think, uh, just for time's sake, just kill ourselves. Why not? Because by doing that, you actually respawn at the beginning. So you just quickly do that for speedrun sakes. And just like that already, we already have five out of the... Out of, or four, three out of the five golden bananas for Chunky Kong. And I think what will be wise is if I actually... Actually, here's what I'll do. Because, unfortunately, there are some bananas, or green bananas for Chucky Kong, that are just kind of out the way. So that means we have to take a detour route here and actually uh, spend our time in getting some of these bananas here. And one thing I like about Chucky Kong, I, I believe this ch this jump right here, it's slightly uh, a bit more than Donkey or Lanky's jumps. Get Ooh. Kind of surprising considering Junkie is the slowest in the 
at least agile out of all the Kongs, statistic wise, and what, like the wiki and the game is saying. Anyways, now uh, we got most of the stuff here. Now I just gotta like really search here because they could be in the trees or or in any hidden areas. All right, now let's just take really good glances here. I believe most of the stuff that we've checked, or rather for Kongs that we already got, or just uh, for a different Kong that we haven't gotten in general. So the next thing we could possibly do is uh, actually we could what we could do is now uh, here's what we could do. Um, there isn't a Kong switch for Junkie Kong out in the rain, but instead what you could do is go through this one area, and since we got the camera, which is a while back, you can go over here and actually take this picture right there. And just like that, we can get the banana fairy and upper stats here. Yes, as always. And maybe we could check through this area. In case if there's anything for Chunky Kong. I don't know, maybe like a, ba a balloon that's not for Chunky Kong. So I guess we'll just come back here with, with Tiny. Sad face. Anyways, let's backtrack a little bit. And instead, let's go over here and holy b balloons. Okay. Right here, you go and you get 30, ba 30 bananas worth of balloons. Okay, so just shoot all three of them and just take it. We'll be on our way. Okay, surprising. Not sure. I'll, I'll take it. Shoot that banana and there's another set right, right there. Awesome. So just gong slam and this is where we get. This is the part where we gotta book it. Because this releases a cell all the way towards Snide's HQ and we gotta really make record time here because we got a time limit that's just barely under one minute. And recommend you have Kong switches activated if you want to actually make this I think I'll actually just take this way just for the heck of it because I think I'll be burning more time by just taking the banana pad so I recommend you get this number two pad right here because you're gonna really need it if you want to get through that I mean you could try and book it up the green vine and actually long jump up top Funky's uh Funky's uh was it door or room if you want to and try to do that I did do it one time I, I, I think I barely made it by like one or two seconds, but by do the, doing this, you'll actually be given a bit more time to actually make it and just score the gold net. Now, I did mention that there is one part for Chunky Kong. It requires uh, shooting a banana with, not banana, but shooting a switch with Tiny Kong. So I'll, I think I'll switch over to Tiny Kong real quick and just go ahead and do that. So actually explore this part with Tiny Kong. I'll try not to collect anything with Tiny Kong, so I'll, I'll, I'll be on the lookout here. In case if I find anything, such as oh, green bananas for Chunky Kong, okay. Make sure I pick that up on the way back. That'd be great. There is a more set of bananas. There's that cast flat for Tiny Kong, if you want to get that with Tiny Kong right now. But for right now, I think I'll just shoot these two switches for Chunk or for Tiny Kong, not Chunky. Even though this is this is Chunky Kong's part, but this is this is just what we got to do here, just to to get to what Chunky Kong needs for for collecting. So I believe there is a tack barrel right there, so we can switch right back, right back to the to the main man, and take out some gremlins that are, are oddly over here. And we can maybe take a, a brief look around here and see if there's anything important, such as bananas or maybe coins if we really need them. But oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of gremlins and bees, but we gotta take use of that. So let's just make do of these of all this chaos. But I turn into the mighty hunky chunky. And just squash him. Oh, it got it. Yeah, just like that, just touch him and they just go down. Anyways, the reason why you should turn to giant chunky is that there is bananas and these big trees that you can't carry with the regular size gong. I mean, in the DK wrapped, it looked like it was it. Tiny Kong can c climb these trees, but nope, he can't. You know, she can't in, in the actual game, but. You can climb to the very top if you want, but our main point of interest is just this uh, banana here. Or challenge barrel that you want to hop into. Welcome oh boy, this day. one. <laughs> this is, you thought you've seen it all, so just be for bother. Oh boy, this this mini game right here, I think this one might be the most time consuming because this basically is, is it's like, kind of like a runaway or whatever, but like speed up with the Z button. All you really gotta do is just run out the time limit. Don't get hit by that TNT barrel. Whatever you do, it is a really frustrating mini game. If I say so myself, because I said the AI for the TNT barrel is just top notch and just 
just smartness. So I believe that this could be, could be one strategy, but yeah, because there's only one, it's not going to be even that tough. I can just slow down right here if I want to, or I could just uh, just do this and just just trick him. Or just I really got it. the the trick to beating this is just to put yourself in a situation where it'll be really difficult to dislodge or just get. So just like that, we just got the last school banana for Chunky Kong. But unfortunately, there's still some stuff out for there for. Oh, there's still some stuff out there for Chunky Kong, such as colored bananas. So you gotta try and find them. Apparently, uh, I honestly don't see anywhere they are. But I could check in this back area because you got these small bananas. I, I think actually this might be all of it, or I might be wrong or not. But yeah, I guess might go away. Or I could be short. Unfortunately, so I gotta like look around here for that last five stack of bananas that apparently I just somehow missed. But all right, now now the real chase is on. I think maybe I could check uh, back at the back at Linky's uh, uh, Linky's lab. No, Linky's lab, uh, Cranky's lab. Uh, rhymes. Currently, Funky and Chunky, as well as Linky and Cranky, uh, seems to be an issue. And there it is, right there. Wow. And this video isn't even, well, according by the recording thing, it's not really that tough, but alright. It's not really that much, but alright. This might be tough because the banana's right on top of the the store, but alright, how's this obviously going to work, but I think the best way to do this is just to get up top on these trees. I believe this is the ideal one. Drop down, there you are. Right on top, we're just going to make havoc for Cranky. I mean, the rain's bad enough. Now you got... Chunky Kong grand slamming or slamming on you. So maybe that way he'll make his potions cheaper. But then again, we we have more more money than what his potions can or are priced for. So I don't know, he could inflate him because of that factor, but no, that's movie expired, yeah. So instead that's that's all there is to this part. All one hundred bananas, as always. Kind of redundant, but but really consistent and organized shall I say so myself so that's gonna be it for Chunky Kong and unfortunately that concludes the three part of what I what I called the Chunky Kong-a-thon so unfortunately we have to go with these other Kongs so unfortunately that'll be the case so to the next time for part 16 as we're gonna be playing as Lanky Kong in the Jungle Japes so till then see you guys later